Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tim. We are back in Half Minute Hero Super Mega Neo Climax Ultimate Boy uh, because I wanted to show off one of the other modes. I, uh, I actually wanted to try and wait until I unlocked the actual version of the Evil Lord 30, but uh, I did a little bit of research and I discovered that in the uh, P uh, the oh ruddy heck, it was the Xbox Live version. Uh, they changed the Evil Lord 30 mode to make it much, much shorter. And so the way to really play the Evil Lord 30 mode is to go into retro graphics, like I'm going to do now, and to play it here, because it actually preserves the full, like, 20, 30, uh, 20 some odd levels that it actually is. Uh, I went ahead and played a little bit of it to get a, a feel for it, it actually plays completely different to the rest of the game. What do I mean by that? Well, let's find out, shall we? It actually stars this beautiful evil lord, which I have uh, kept his name Evil Lord, and his bat Millennia. And it starts out, <laughs> simply enough, with them in the Violet Castle. You really love the color violet in yourself. Yes, yes, uh, it seems he does. Your uniform should look the most fetching draped in violet. If only I had the power. Oh, stop it. I'm quite content to be just by your side. So now we have bandits in the castle who have come in and broken in. And if you notice, that guy is blue. That will actually come into play here in just a moment. But as we uh, step up to it, I'm prepared to kick his little butt here. Oh, God. Perhaps it is time to show you the loveliness of my summoning magic. What do you mean? The first one played like an RPG. What does this do? I have the power to summon three various types of monsters. X for red brutes that are strong. Z for blue nimbles that move very quickly, like the blue bandit over there. And S for green shooters that use projectile magic attacks. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This plays very, 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 very much like your uh, rock, paper, scissors style, very simplified kind of RTS or, or tower, tower defense kind of thing. So you have your nimble attacks that need magic uh, to, to be killed. Or uh, that, that, excuse me, dodge magic very quickly and use the brutes against them. And then you have, uh, later on, the red enemies that you use, that, that you use shooters against, and the, uh, the brutes that you use the, uh, the nimble guys against. And it plays very much in this sort of very slow moving, but I have the power to summon all these really awesome monsters that come out and just start rampaging through the place. It's great. Oh, come on, kill them quicker. And as you sort of sprout them out here, uh, if you notice that they're in a bad spot, you can actually make them charge. I, I, I didn't have enough time to show that uh, before I killed them all to show you that. But after each mission, you only get about 30 seconds of night before the uh, sun comes back up, and now we have to get back to the castle. Oh, look at that. Millennia is actually very cute. And it turns out the beautiful evil lord is, in fact, beautiful. Uh, unfortunately, 8-bit just doesn't do him justice. <laughs> but as we continue on, it turns out that the effects of Half-Minute Hero are actually kind of having an effect here. Noir, the, the evil lord that was going around spreading the Dispel of Destruction, is actually going around here, too. And, and is having some sort of influence over this world. But as you go through, you'll notice that this is where it actually starts to pick up the story itself. There's a strange statue in the middle of the town, and if you have beaten Half Minute Hero, you'll realize that that statue is actually of Noir. But now we have these red enemies that are brutes, and they require the shooters to be able to take them out. Which is exactly what Millennia would say if I went ahead and just let her talk here, which uh, I, I don't really need her help at the moment because I know exactly what she's going to say. And as we go down, you'll notice that uh, the that inner circle that fills up is actually a magic meter, 
and the higher it is, uh, you'll notice as it goes down, I'm only able to summon these lesser people, but if I let it go all the way back up, it summons the full-blown ghost white-looking things that just come out and do massive damage. Uh, but if you notice that your enemies are, or that your allies are getting too far away, you can come up behind them and press the C button and make them charge at the enemies, which will actually put them in a little bit better position, uh, costing them a little bit of life once they actually hit someone and stop. But my objective here isn't actually to kill all the enemies, it's to kill the statue, which I just did. That's right. That's right, evil lord. You recognize that enemy, don't you? But that's what I mean. It seems as though that the effects of Happy Hero are having a bit of an effect here as well. And um, it's kind of really neat that it all ties together into one massive story. It really makes me wonder whether uh, the, the Princess 30 and the Knight 30 and the other modes do the same thing. I'm, I'm sure that they do. But uh, let's, let's go in here and show you something a little bit later on to give you a better clue as to what you might face in, uh, in Dark Lord 30. So by this point, we have met the uh, Time Goddess, who has actually given us the ability to turn back time in that little gold orb that you see up in the top corner there. And uh, you go through it, and as you kill people, you get money, uh, which we'll see drop here in just a moment. And then you go to her and spend the money to turn back the 30 seconds that you have of night. But we're progressing on to find some way to get to Noir because my bat, my little bat lovely Millennia is actually having some sort of malfunction in her bestial transformation and is so like becoming more and more evil and so there's a very touching story when it comes to uh, taking care of these enemies. Brutes will only get slaughtered before you even get close and so now we have to summon Nimbles but this cannon can also be destroyed the same way because it's also there's no reason you shouldn't try. Alright, awesome. So you're saying my beauty is not a... And the dialogue is, of course, very, very funny, as always. Uh, especially if you give him a voice. Which I won't bother you with at the moment, maybe later. Oh, come on. Here we go. So, now I need Nimbles. Nimbles, go! Oh. Oh. There you go. There's my first gold coin. And you'll see it's gathering down there. Uh, I think... Yes, that helmet down there is the number of enemies that are left alive for the missions where it uh, requires you to kill a certain number of enemies. Uh, go over there. Go over there and see if you can go down and get the cannon. Fantastic. And also, I found Wandering Jelly. Oh, nice! I gained a little ally. Uh, also, you'll notice that when I get hit, it actually takes away the, uh, the from the radius of my circle. But if you go over here and heal yourself, it fills it right all the way back up. Oh, ah, of course. And I just get murdered again. Uh, let's see if I can do something about these. Nope, not particularly. Crap. Crappy crap crap. Oh. I need to get money. Okay. I'm doing pretty well so far at being able to dodge everything. Oh, ah, that, that's not a way to do it. Okay, I've got 16 seconds. So it's a neat little resource management system because you kind of have to I mean you're very slow moving so it takes you a minute to get back over to to reset the time so you kind of have to make sure that you give yourself enough to either finish the mission like so or uh, to get back over there and, and and reset the time but if you go through and you have money left over apparently you're able to give it to the bat uh, in the Millennium Bank at Millennia Bank, excuse me, and then eventually she will give the evil lord some sort of upgrade to his uh, minions, which is kind of really neat. Even in this mode, there's very RPG elements and upgrades and things to unlock, and of course your lovely 8-bit characters. Let's see, consider the... Oh yes, uh, and the storyline here uh, also pertains to the king that we saw in Evil Lord 30 is becoming corrupted as well. So now we're trying to get over to the castle and see if we can, four great spirits, see if we can do something about that to help. Minister. <laughs> oh. 
The evil lord has such witty dialogue. Um, yeah, sure. Give me another little tutorial here. What do we have? When wild monsters come in contact with your magic power, they become loyal subjects, much like your summon monsters. Oh yeah, it's like the uh, the gel that I found in the other thing. So when you're overwhelmed by the enemy's power, look around for wild monsters, and that's not all. The monsters that can cut through forests or walk on water. So experiment with strategies. Strategies, huh? I see. So you're telling me the wild monsters are <laughs> that my face is so beautiful that it can charm even the wildest of monsters. Let's see. Okay, so apparently if you go up to some of the random monsters in the world, like these giant mammoths over here, we should be able to convert them over to my cause. And now, charge! Charge, my beasts! And I shall be right behind you. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, so they are blue, which means I need to summon brutes. Well, it turns out that I didn't need to summon anything because uh, those... Mammoths were able to just run right through, so I need to get. Aha! Oh, enemy reinforcements. That's not good. Oh, oh! Come here, birds! Birds! I need birds! Yes! Uh, also, is there a. There she is. Hello, darling. I need you. Because once I get my magic ring back up, I should be able to come back over here. And get some of these falcons come here yes you are now at my cause ha 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 I need you to go and destroy these people oh it's just a slaughter and I love it thank you so much eagles you have come to my aid once again as an evil lord, I like one thing, and that is the Fabulous Foursome. So apparently, I also have an evil League of Evil, which is fantastic. You gotta make up for lost time. Fine, do as you will. Okay, so I hit over 100. Let's see what happens here. Level up. The Lady Bank is full. You got sexier with the Goddess Spa. The evil lord's maximum mana is increased, so I guess the uh, maximum size that my circle can be is now increased, which is kind of neat. Uh, but anyway, so that's a quick look at Evil Lord 30. Whoa, holy crap. That unlocked a whole bunch of new missions all at once. So, aha, uh -huh, to get the Fab Four sub-stories and such as that nature. Interesting. Okay, so it seems as though there's a lot more to see here than at first comes to mind. Um, I'll probably end up visiting here once again once there's more to show in some sort of concise manner. I hate to sort of waste your time by just playing through it in, in, in a walkthrough like fashion but I like pointing out little interesting things about these games that uh, I might have missed the first time around when I did my first look so uh, check back here we'll probably do another one later thank you so much for watching ladies and gentlemen we'll see you next time